Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Just like AI is transforming how we write, search and create, it's now changing how we build UIs too. That's where Figma Make comes in. So let's start by understanding what exactly is it. So Figma Make is a new AI feature which was launched at Config 2025 that reimagines how we turn ideas into interfaces. Instead of manually building the buttons, forms, and layouts, you simply describe what you want in plain English, and Figma Make turns that into a working UI. It's built right inside Figma, so no needs of any plugins or extra tools. Let me show you some of its key features. One of the key features of Figma Make is that it converts prompts into working UIs. For example, here I have a prompt to create the login screen for a mobile app, and the prompt is really specific. It has all the details, what components are needed. Now, when I hit the send button, Figma Make will analyze this prompt and it will create a UI for us. And that's how our UI looks like. So it also combines the designing and prototype all in one interface. Also, it creates the code for TypeScript as well as CSS that we can actually use in our production environment. Now that you know what Figma Make is, in this tutorial, we'll use it to design the UI for a finance tracker app. Now, this app will help the users manage their money by clearly showing their income, expenses, and transaction history. To design an app in Figma Make, we have two different approaches. Option one is using a wireframe wherein you import the wireframe and ask Figma Make to turn it into a functional screen. This method works best if you already have a rough layout in mind. Or option two is with the help of prompts. This is where Figma Make actually shows off its AI power. We have to make sure that the prompts that we are giving are very specific. And this is best for users who think in flow rather than visuals. So let's begin with the first approach using wireframes. Our finance tracker app will have the dashboard and the monthly report screen. But before we jump into Figma and create the UIs, do we really know what to place where? That's where wireframing comes in. They help us plan the structure and layout of the app. They show us the key components, screen flow, and how everything connects together. So let's walk through the wireframes. On the dashboard screen, we have the header component, we have several buttons, a line chart on which the users can toggle, and a couple of summary cards. And on the monthly report screen, we have a header component again with a summary card, an optional footer note with table and drop down filters. So to get started, head over to the Figma website, and at the top, you will notice the option of make. Now quickly note that Figma Make is currently available only to the paid users. So make sure you're on a plan that includes Figma Make. So let's click on Make and get inside the interface. That's how the interface of Figma Make looks like. Let's take a quick tour. On the left, we have the prompt panel. This is where we'll type our prompts in natural language. At the top, we have preview and code. We can toggle between the two. Preview contains like the live canvas where the generated UI appears. Code, on the other hand, uh, we'll be able to see the code which has been generated based on the prompt given. The code consists of the TypeScript and CSS files. We also have a full screen button right here. So it enters into the full screen view of the generated UI. Currently, we have not created any, so nothing appears. Then we also have a publish and share option available. So that's how the interface of Figma Make looks like. Now let's build the first screen of our finance tracker app using the wireframe method, the dashboard screen. So to do that, click on the image option over here and select the wireframe that we have for dashboard. Once that is done, also include a prompt. I have a simple prompt right here that says, turn this wireframe into a functional mobile screen with interactive components. Add toggle functionality for the chart and working buttons for each action. And click on the enter button. Once you do that, Figma will take some time to analyze your prompt. And here's what the output looks like. 
So based on the wireframe we gave, Sigma Make did analyze the visual layout and has created a UI for us. We have a header, we have the profile icon, we have two summary cards for income and expenses. We also have a view transaction buttons. We have a toggle line chart, as we can see, an add transaction buttons, a view monthly report button, and an export data. Now this design looks close to the original wireframe that we gave. Although we may sometimes see a few layout differences and that's normal with AI generated interfaces. And at this point, we can also check the code that has been generated by Figma Make. There are different files that we can see. One is app.typescript. That's the main file that brings everything together in place. Other than that, under the components UI folder, we have multiple TypeScript files that define each component. For example, we can see the button.tsx, the chart.tsx, and many more. Under styles, we also have the CSS file. This file handles layout, pacing, colors, and the responsible behavior. And the fun part, this code is fully editable. You can customize it, export it, or even plug it in real data if you are building a production app. And just like that, we have gone from a low fidelity layout to a working prototype with no manual coding at all. Now that you have seen how the wireframe method works, let's try something different using the second option that was with the help of prompt. The other approach is by using a prompt, no wireframe required. Now you already know what a prompt is, as you probably use ChatGPT all the time. But have you noticed that when you give it a vague instruction, the output just doesn't land? And that's why prompt construction matters in Figma Make 2. Take this for example. If I say add some buttons, Figma might throw in anything, anywhere. But if I say add three buttons, label, add transaction, view report, and export data at the bottom of the screen, I am telling it what and where, so it exactly knows what to do. So the same thing applies to all the other components that you want to use. The more detailed the prompt, the better the results. So let's try this out and build a second screen, the monthly report screen using just a prompt. Let's go. Just make sure that we know that this screen, the monthly report screen, we can only navigate to it when we click on this button, view monthly report button. And that's something that we also need to mention in our prompt. So in the prompt panel, here is the prompt that I'm giving. I'm saying that when the user taps the view monthly report button on the dashboard screen, navigate to a new screen. I've also given it a name, monthly report, and design this with the following components. I need a top header with a title, two drop down filters for month and year, a summary section vertically stacked with three blocks income, expenses, net savings. And below this summary, we also need a clean breakdown table with the columns. I've provided the names for clarity, category, amount, percentage, and notes. And I'm also asking Figma Make to have a footer that says this report was generated automatically based on your transaction data. And I've also given some filter commands like ensure the layout is styled for mobile portrait view with clear spacing, typography, and formatting that makes it export ready. And enable a vertical scroll. Hit the send button. Let Figma analyze this prompt. So here's how the output of our prompt looks like. Let's check if it has actually created the screen when we click on the view monthly report button. There we go. So when I click on the view monthly report button, it has actually created a screen based on the prompts. Here we have the header with the title given. These are our drop downs from year as well as month. We have three summary cards stacked up vertically, income, expenses, savings. Then we also have a table with the names that I had given, category, salary, freelance in category, amount, notes. I also have an expense breakdown and here is the footer. So again, the output generated by Figma Make might not 
exactly be on the similar lines of the prompt, but it has generated most of it. And as we can see, the design is fully responsive and scrollable, exactly like we described. If we go back to code again, it has generated the same set of files, app.typescript as the main and other uh, TypeScript files for the components present in both the screens as well as the CSS files. So now you have two different screens, the dashboard screens as well as the monthly report screen one which was created from a wireframe and one which was created just from a plain natural language prompt. You know, one of the best things about Figma Make is that you can keep adding prompts to enhance the same designs and you don't really have to start over. So let's add some polish and interactivity. Like we'll add a theme toggle for dark and light themes. We can also add a bit of animation and also handle some user interactions. So I am putting some prompts over here. Let me put this in bullets for better readability. So I'm asking Figma Make to add a theme toggle switch at the top right corner of the navigation bar to allow light and dark mode. I'm adding a green and red dollar icon animations to these two summary cards, total income and total expenses. I also want uh, it to add hover effects to all the action buttons. So let's hit the send button again to see what Figma make creates. Figma make has created the UI based on our prompts. Let's test it. I can see a dark light theme icon here. And there we go. The toggle theme is working. We can also see animations, the dollar symbols. And whenever I go to add the buttons, let's say view all transactions or add transaction, view monthly report or export data, we can see whenever we hover over it, we have a better visualization of the buttons based on the prompts that I had given. So now our screens aren't just static. They are fully interactive, themed, animated, and usable. And the best part, you can keep iterating by just refining your prompts. Now that both of our screens feel complete, the dashboard and the monthly report screen, it's time that we talk about the final screen of the app, the transaction details screen. But this time, I'm not going to build it for you. Instead, you try it out using either of the two approaches. If you like planning things visually, create a wireframe and let Figma make turn it to a functional screen. Or if you're more comfortable thinking in steps and structure, write a detailed prompt that describes the entire layout. Just make sure if you are working with prompts, be specific, describe what, where, and how the elements should behave. Or if you are using wireframes, keep the layout clear and labeled. Figma Make will use that visual structure to help you build the functionality. And don't worry if something doesn't look perfect in the first time. You can always stack up new prompts to improve it. Once done and you are happy with what you have created, add the code panel, you also have a download code button. So you can click on download and you'll get a zip file of your code, which you can use further, or you can always share it or publish it as per your requirements. Thank you so much for joining us in this tutorial. We hope that it gave you a fresh perspective on how AI can completely change the way we build interfaces.